Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, we want to solve for x in square root of x plus square root of minus x equals 32. So let's say solution. We have square root of x plus square root of minus x equals 32. So from here, we say square root of x equals 32. So let's transfer this square root, of my, square root of minus x to this side. It becomes minus square root of minus x. Right? So from here, by squaring both sides, squaring both sides, we will have square root of x square equals 32 minus square root of minus x square. So we know this, we cancel this. So we are left with this. And to expand this, let's recall that if you have x minus y square, this is equals x square plus y square minus 2 x y so applying this to this we will have x equals we'll have 32 square plus square root of minus x square minus 2 times 32 right then times square root of minus x right so this will be x equals 30 square square will give us 1024 plus we know this we cancel this so we'll be left with minus x this minus 2 times 32 will give us minus 64 then we have times square root of minus x so this will becomes x equals 1024 plus times minus we have minus x right so minus 64 square root of minus x so we can transfer this x to this side so it becomes x plus x equals 104 1024 minus 64 square root of minus x so x plus x will give us 2x right so equals so from here you observe that uh, we have a common factor here and that is 2 so if we factorize 2 out we have 2 multiplied by 512 minus what we left here we have 32 square root of minus x so from here we divide both sides by 2 right divide both sides by 2 and this by 2 so we know this we cancel this and this we cancel this. So we we'll have x equals 512 minus 32 square root of minus x. So from here we can transfer this to this side. So we have x minus 512 equals minus 32 square root of minus x. Again, to move further, we have to square both sides. So squaring both sides, we will have x minus 512 square equals minus 32 square root of minus x square. So here you have to note that if you have x y raised to the power n this is the same as having an equals to x is to the power n then y is to the power n so expanding this we will have x square plus 5 rate at 12 square minus 2 x multiplied by 5 rate at 12 equals so applying this to this we have minus 32 square times 
square root of minus x square so we have it like this so this now becomes x square plus 512 square so if we expand this we will have 2 times x times 512 we have minus 1024x equals this square will give us 1024 so that is minus you know this square we cancel this square so we have minus x right so now we have x square plus 512 square equals you want to transfer this to the other side so we have 1024x plus this will be minus 1024x right so we will have x square plus 512 square equals 1024x so plus times minus will give us minus 1024x so from here we will have x square plus 512 square equals this minus this will give us zero right so and uh, we collect the light and we transfer this to the other side we have x square equals minus 512 square so since we want to find uh, the value of x so to get the value of x we have to square root both sides square root both sides and if you do we are going to have square root of x square equals square root of minus 512 square here you observe that uh, this we can put this right so and we have x equals minus 512 square can be expressed as 512 square times square root of minus one but recall from complex number that our i which is our other equal to square root of minus one so we have x to be equals square root of 512 square times i so here you observe that this we also cancel this so we have x equals 512 times i so we have plus or minus 512 i so this is your final answer so thank you for watching my gift fund so you can now send super to support this channel it helps me to